a long, long time ago, I made a frosting out of cauliflower. And then recently I realized I'd never actually shared that recipe. So I remade it and actually decided that it's better suited to be eaten as a pudding because it's so healthy and it's kind of had this great light texture. So that is what I'm showing you how to make today. So I'm starting with three cups of steamed cauliflower florets. You want to steam them until they're pretty tender. They'll blend better that way. And I'm starting with one cup of um, non-dairy milk. This is actually coconut milk, which you can use any kind of milk. Then about 10 to 12 pitted medjool dates. One half teaspoon of vanilla bean powder. And one third cup of cacao powder, or cocoa powder, either way. Now this is one of those really easy recipes where you just chuck everything in a blender and blend. So that's what we're going to do. And because I was making this up as I went along, it was too thick, so I added another cup of non-dairy milk. So that's a total of two cups of non-dairy milk. You can add it all at the beginning though. So blend, 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 and now we're done. And that's it, there's your creamy chocolate pudding. You can eat it now, um, it's kind of warm from all that blending, or you can um, refrigerate it overnight and eat it chilled. It doesn't thicken up that much in the fridge, but it does thicken a little bit. Um, you do want to eat this probably within 24 hours. It does start to separate after that, so don't save it for too, too long. Or you can make these gorgeous Valentine's Day parfaits with it. So here I just layer the chocolate pudding on the bottom. I um, put a layer of beetroot colored coconut cream on top and then finish it off with some fresh raspberries and these little raw um, chocolate cookies that I will link to in the description. And now you have a fancy little Valentine's Day treat. So this does make um, probably two or maybe even three servings of um, chocolate pudding. So share it or eat it all yourself because it's mostly vegetables and fruits. So there's that. Pretty darn healthy chocolate pudding. Give this video a thumbs up if you like vegetables disguised as chocolate. And subscribe here for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.